Hello and welcome back to the workshop. It's the follow-up to the master system. So basically at the end of the last episode I said that I needed to deal with the power supply for this and we had this really cheap rubbish AC adapter and it was just garbage. Let's plug it in and turn it on. We can see on our screen that we have a lot of noise in the background and that I wasn't happy and I was using the bench power supply. So I did look around and I ordered this meanwhile 9 volt power supply and also a polarity inverter. This will change it to match what the master system wants. But then on the same day that I was looking at that, Linus came out with his video talking about powering old consoles and stuff with USB-C. So I decided to grab one of those as well. So this is the Ugreen USB-C power supply and I ordered these two Adafruit cables. This one is 9 volt and this one is 12 volt. And what it's doing is using the power delivery of this fancy power supply to give us the exact voltages that we need to work with these old consoles. We still have to use the polarity inverter, but it works. And then while I was messing around with that, I realized that my old Pixel power supply also shows that it outputs 9 volt. So we got a few different options for testing the power supplies on this master system. The first thing I want to do is quickly probe the uh, power lines so that we can see the noise coming from that rubbish switching power supply. So if we go back to our master system, we'll quickly connect that up to ground. And then if we probe on the output of the uh, regulator, we'll be down to five volts. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in on the scope any more than that. But you can see there's like a pulse. Lots and lots of noise coming in from that cheap switching mode power supply. Let's change that out and put that power supply back in the bin where it belongs. So next I'm going to use this meanwhile power supply and we have the polarity of inverter connected up to it and we'll power on. And you can see we have an absolute gorgeous crisp image. So no matter what, I was happy that this meanwhile power supply is giving us a nice clean image. If we quickly go back and look at the output from the regulator, there is a little bit of noise on there, but you can't see that pattern, that like, like that wavy pattern that we saw from the switching power supply. So it's a very good quality switching power supply this time. So that's the meanwhile power supply. I'm very, very happy with this unit. Let's power this master system from this Pixel 3 USB-C charger. So what I'm going to use is this Adafruit 9 volt USB-C lead. One end is a barrel jack and the other end says 9 volt 5 amps. So there is a chip in the end of this which is telling the power supply what it wants to do. I also have uh, a, a USB-C checker so we can actually see what's going on. So basically we've got our USB-C charger with our USB-C display. We plug that lead into there. We use our polarity inverter. So now we can plug this into the back of the master system. If we quickly look at the power coming out of the charger, we can see the voltage that we're getting. It's not connected into the master system yet. Before we do that, let's just double check. So it is center negative. And we are getting 9.2 volts. So let's plug this in. Turn it on. There's our Sega sign. And you can see the amount of current that it's drawing. And we have a very, very nice clean image on our screen. So that is using the Pixel 3 power supply. And I'm going to use the Ugreen power supply. This one is incredible. I'll show you a close up on the back. But it basically says that it can do 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, 20 volt, and 21 volts, all from this one power supply. So I'm connected up via this Ugreen adapter, and we'll just do the same test. 
So there's our Sega sign. And again, nice clean screen with no interference. If we quickly change over to the VGA, you can see there's basically none of that wavy strange pattern. We have quite a nice smooth signal. So overall, I'm very, very happy. We've got a few options that we can use, but the beauty about this power supply, we are not just limited to one voltage. So here I have a basic USB. So you can see there, we're getting five volt out of the normal USB. And at the same time, we're getting nine volt out of the USB-C. And I could also plug a second one in using this 12 volt lead. So we could have nine volt, five volt and 12 volt all from the one power supply at the same time. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. I am incredibly happy with the Meanwhile power supply. Very, very good. But now we've got the option to use this power supply and give us multiple voltages. And I'm going to be using this with a Spectrum Plus 3 board that I've got that I'm working on that needs 5 volt and 12 volt. So I can use this one USB-C power supply to give us both voltages at the same time. So just like on the last one, I'll give you a quick preview of the new case for the Spectrum. And I've just been finishing printing the final parts. I've got the keyboard switches in now and I've, I've adjusted this template so that they fit perfectly to allow me to solder them in and keep them straight. Here you can see we've got an issue three board in which still has the heat sink on the back. I've added more vents onto this part to allow the air to get through. But the main thing that I changed was adding the insert at the back. It's tricky to do like this. So that goes like that and we get a very nice clean finish on the back. So there we go. All right, so the next video should be about this case and I look forward to sharing it with you. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.